As you're going to be working on several labs for this course, let's talk a little bit about organization. That is how you might want to organize your files in subdirectories to make them much more easy to handle. So for example, I have already completed uh, the switch and buttons lab, lab two. And you can see that I have um, the files that are related to that. And they're just in my regular area. Now right now this isn't too troublesome. But as I complete more labs throughout the uh, semester, this is going to get to be pretty messy. So let's talk about a way to manage that. Um, and let's try and manage it with subdirectories. So right click on source to create a new subdirectory. Here we can see that there's a new folder option. Click that. And we can see that's going to be created here. This is the path. So that's fine. And let's call it switches and buttons lab. Okay. Hit finish. And since I already have some existing files, I'll show you how to move them in there. The easiest way is to select uh, the top file, then go down to the bottom file while you hold switch, click it, all, four, all five files in this case are selected, right click on that group and select move. Go find the folder that you want, it's in the source down here in switches and buttons lab, hit OK to move the files. Now they're gone in you know from this main area and they've been copied here, so that eliminates a lot of clutter. It doesn't change the build process at all. Um, it just puts the files here, but still builds them. So you can have as many of these uh, subfolders as you want. Um, now, as you're going to be building uh, multiple labs during the semester, each lab is going to have its own main function. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, um, there's a way to exclude those because you can only have one main function for the entire project, where the project is um, right here. Organizing your files in subdirectories this way makes this quite easy, though. So if we just right-click on our switches and buttons lab folder, we can go to Properties, and we can say Exclude Resource from Build. So once we're done with the lab and we don't want it to, uh, to, build, you know, to interfere with the rest of our builds, we can hit OK to exclude it. <coughs> and uh, what you'll see is that this source file will now be drawn with a slash through it, which means it's excluded from the build. And indeed, that was the only um, project, or the only um, job I had that had a main function defined. So I got an error. So let's go back and show you how to turn that back on. So again, go to Properties, unclick Exclude Resource from Build, and then hit OK. Everything will rebuild again, and um, you'll see that this folder no longer has a slash through it, and it built correctly. And this looks a lot tidier, and you can imagine as you get more and more files over, over the time that you're doing these labs, it'll help a lot. So I strongly recommend that you follow this process um, for organizing your labs, because it will make things a lot easier for you going forward. It'll be easier to turn your labs on and off to, to rerun them if necessary. And I think overall it'll make your job, and also the TA's job, we're trying to help you make their jobs a lot easier.